Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the similar polygons. Two polygons are similar if and only if their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. Similar polygons have the same shape but different sizes. And we use this symbol which is read as is similar to indicates that the two polygons are similar okay those are the things that you need to know let's say we have the two polygon we're going to check the similarity ratio and check if the two polygon are similar so we can say that the two polygons are similar if and only if their corresponding angles are congruent. So let's, let's check first the corresponding angles. Notice that our polygon is a rectangle. And by definition of rectangle, all the angles measures 90 degrees. So Angle A is 90, B is 90, C is 90, D is 90. Now, we're just going to find the corresponding angle. So, we know that A corresponds to E. So, angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent to angle F. Angle C is congruent to angle G. And angle D is congruent to angle H. Now, I, after finding the congruent angles, find the corresponding sides. We know that... Oh, let's find out the corresponding sides of our polygon. We know that AB corresponds to EF. A, B, E, F. B, C corresponds to F, G. C, D corresponds to G, H. And A, D corresponds to E, H or similar. Now, after getting the corresponding sides, let's get their ratio. So AB over EF. So AB measures 5 while EF measures 10. We can reduce in lowest term, that is 1 half. So divided by 5, divided by 5, that is 2. Next, BC over FG. The measure of BC is 3 because opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So 3 over FG, this is 6. Opposite sides are congruent, so 6. Reduce in lowest term, that is 1 half. Now, CD over CD over GH CD that is 5 over GH 10 reduce in lowest term that is 1 half and AD over EH AD 3 over EH 6 that is 1 half now, this one half, one half, one half, one half is our similarity ratio. And that is, can be written as 1 is 2, 2. Okay. Our similarity ratio is 1 is 2, 2. Let's have another example. Now, let's have example number 2. Now, let's have our example number 2. I saw this. Now, let's have our example number 2. 
Isosceles trapezoid, LMNO, corresponds to isosceles trapezoid, WXYZ. Determine the corresponding angles and sides. Is isosceles trapezoid LMNO similar to isosceles trapezoid WXYZ? If so, write a similar statement and determine the ratio of similarity. So we have here the trapezoid LMNO and trapezoid isosceles trapezoid WXYZ. First, let us determine the corresponding angles and sides. For the corresponding angles, we have angle M corresponds to angle X. And they are corresponds to angle X. Angle N corresponds to angle Y. Angle L corresponds to angle W. And angle O corresponds to angle Z. Now for the corresponding sides. Okay, corresponding angles, corresponding sides. We know that ML corresponds to corresponds to XW. MN corresponds to XY. NO corresponds to YZ. And lastly, OL or LO corresponds to WZ. Now, let's find the similarity or ratio of similarity. So, ML over XW. So ML is 12 over XW 4. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. In ratio, that is 3 is to 1. Next, MN over XY. Mn So I think ML is 10.2 So ML Sorry for this ML must be 10.2 Over XW is 3.4 okay. So 10.2 divided by 3.4 That is 3. In ratio, that is 3 is to 1. Same. This is MN is 12 over XY is 4. 12 by 4, that is 3. In ratio, that is 3 is to 1. Next, NO over YZ. That is 10.2 over 3.4 and that is 3 3, point, uh, 3 is to 1 and lastly LO LO over WZ that is 18 over 6 in ratio that is 3 and 3 is to 1 so the similarity or ratio of similarity is 3 is to 1. Now we have another un uh, question here. Is isosceles trapezoid LMNO similar to isosceles trapezoid WXYZ? Yes. So they are similar, yes. Now how to write the similarity statement? Okay, we can write that 
since the ratio between isosceles trapezoid LMNO and WXYZ, the corresponding sides and angles are similar, then the isosceles trapezoid is LMNO and isosceles trapezoid WXYZ are similar. And the ratio of similarity is 3 is to 1. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.